Hello everyone. Now we come back to Tuesday's lesson and today we're going to be looking at the issue of reincarnation. I remember something an evangelist once said that I believe is still true today. If you truly understood the state of the dead, 90% of the false religions in this world would cease to exist. Think about that for a moment. How many false religions are based on this idea of the immortal soul? Take reincarnation for example. Reincarnation teaches something known as the transmigration of the soul. Those who hold to this belief teach that the highest plane of existence is enlightenment, that enlightenment is the pathway to becoming, well, a god. For these people, you die and you come back. If you don't achieve enlightenment, you die and you come back as another person. For some, you died and you might come back as something else, well, altogether. So here you are and you're on the path to enlightenment. Hindus believe that the eternal soul goes through a progression of consciousness um, that involves six stages of life. Aquatics, plants, reptiles and insects, birds, animals and human beings, including the residents of heaven. Now here's the problem in all of this. There is no salvation. You die and come back. You die and come back. It's like rinse and repeat until you get it right. The only problem is you're never going to get it right or know if you got it right because none of the past lives talk to each other. The Bible teaches there's no dying and coming back as something else. It teaches you die once and you only come back if you have a relationship with Jesus. The Bible also teaches that the only way to get to heaven is through that intimate relationship with Jesus. Heaven is not something you enter into because you've lived enough lives. Also, the Bible teaches a very real second coming, at which time the dead are resurrected and given new bodies fit and ready for heaven. And lastly, the Bible teaches that salvation is through grace alone. There's no dying and trying all over again, only to die again and again until you're good enough to get to heaven. And that right there is another problem. The idea that you had to work to prove yourself worthy of heaven. Take away having to work for your salvation and you do away with 100% of every false religion. Well, that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.